Clear the Shelters is sponsored by Cigna Pay Southeast. News 2 is working to clear the shelters across the Lowcountry. We are teaming up with animal shelters for the annual initiative to find forever homes for cats and dogs. Today we head to the Charleston Animal Society where News 2's Hannah Powers has been hanging out for us this morning. Hannah, what can you tell us about your new furry friends? Well, Temple, it's already been a packed morning here at the Charleston Animal Society. We have had a full tour of the building. The facility here is huge, and I'm joined right now by Kay Hyman. She's the director of community engagement. She's a spokesperson, and she's been walking us through everything today. And right now, she also has a special friend here with us to meet. Who is this, Kay? This is Cusco, and Cusco is an 11-month-old. <laughs> Um, Staffordshire Terrier Blinn. He loves everyone. He just wants to play and chew on his toys and, and have a good time. He'd be a great dog for a family that has time to spend with a dog because he truly is going to need lots of training and lots of toys and going to be a great dog. Amazing. And for those families that are looking to welcome a puppy and things like that, Charleston Animal Society has changed the adoption process a little because of COVID-19. Kay, what are some of the adjustments that you've made here? Well, unfortunately, um, due to COVID-19, we do not allow children under 13 to come in. But that doesn't mean they can't come and stay outside and then meet the um, dog that you um, think is going to be a good match for your family. We're also practicing um, safety protocol. You have to wear masks. You have to, sh you know, stay six feet apart, and our team is um, disinfecting surfaces all the time. But what we recommend is that you go online and look at the animals on the website. Then that way you're going to know exactly what is at the shelter when you're ready to go. And it's actually some really cool technology. You were telling me the second an animal gets adopted, they do come down off that website, so it's it's the list is kept up to date. Yeah, it's in real time, so it's real important. It's Super easy to use. Just go to charlestonanimalsite.org. Check it out on the web. Check us out on Facebook. We just had an amazing live video where um, a dog was reunited because of a microchip um, after a year of being lost. So there's so many facets to what we do here at the Charleston Animal Society. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing place. It really is an amazing place. And Temple, trust me, we have a lot planned for the show today. I cannot wait to show you more of what the shelter has to offer. But for now, back to you in the studio.